Open fire on I-95 during a road rage incident. Isaac Partridge faced a judge in the last three hours. He's charged with attempted murder. Action News Jacks first broke the news to you yesterday at 4 when part of I-95 was shut down near Phillips Highway because of that shooting. Action News Jacks Nick Gibson joins us live in that area now. Nick, you've been working to learn more about the suspect. Yeah, I learned that the suspect, he didn't have any criminal history at all when it came to any crimes. Now, this comes after police say he shot into a car multiple times over road rage, and the truck that the suspect drove was found in this Chuck E. Cheese parking lot. It's just dumb to me, honestly. Isaac Partridge is facing a second degree attempted murder charge after police say he shot a man multiple times in a road rage incident. This is new video of him in court this afternoon. After Partridge's attorney described him as a family man with three young kids, a judge granted him half a million dollar bond. According to a new police report, Partridge was speeding and cut off the victim's car. He's then accused of blowing smoke from his exhaust pipes at the victim. The pair continued going back and forth with each other before shots were fired. It happened yesterday on I-95 near Phillips Highway, a busy road with lots of drivers like Amos Kaiser. I can't imagine someone getting mad about traffic. Partridge drove to this nearby Chuck E. Cheese parking lot on Shops Lane and called police himself. I went to the suspect's house this afternoon to get his side of the story, but no one answered. While the victim in this case did survive, according to a study from GetJerry.com, Florida does rank second in the nation when it comes to deadly road rage shootings. Kaiser, who is from Virginia, says he can understand why that's the case. In Virginia, people drive a lot slower. Here, it's a lot faster, so I can understand why there would be more road rage. Now, Partridge is due back in court next month. For local coverage, you can count on reporting from Jacksonville. Nick Gibson, Action News Channel.